Hello everyone, I am Oleg, student at Baltic Aviation Academy. I welcome to our short question and answer session that we have prepared to you. We have collected some questions from our YouTube channel and we will try to address a few of them. Performance factor is the set value in the maintenance log and it adjusts factory FMS fuel flow values to meet the actual one. Corrections is made in percentages and it is needed due to engine wearing and other variables which comes with an age. For a jet plane, like for example Boeing 737, total amount of fuel should be calculated as follows. Uh, trip fuel, contingency fuel, which is 5% of trip fuel, uh, fuel for flight to alternate aerodrome, fuel for uh, half an hour at holding, and uh, half an hour final reserve fuel. Uh, these two should be calculated for consumption at 1,500 feet above ground level. Considering that uh, Boeing 737 consumes 4,000 liters per hour, and is going to make a two hours flight with one hour to alternate aerodrome, the amount of fuel should be next. Uh, two hours of flight gives us 8,000 liters of trip fuel, Contingency, or 5% of trip fuel, gives us 400 liters. Uh, one hour flight to alternate uh, gives us 4,000 liters. And uh, for uh, half an hour at holding, we should uh, have 2,000 liters of fuel. And for final reserve, we also need 2,000 liters. And it totals up to 16,400 liters, which must be on board. For a single engine piston airplane like our Cessna 172, fuel calculations are in the same way, except we need 45 minutes in hold instead of 30. And of course, consumption is much less. When using flight management systems, it is possible to either use the company routes, where all points are already programmed into the system by the company. Pilots are also allowed to add or remove the points from a route before flight. It is even possible to add a custom uh, fixed point with the coordinates to flight management system, especially when there is no standard terminal arrival route star or standard instrument departure seat available. Airlines however, uh, has uh, special guys called flight dispatchers. Their job is to plan the most convenient, fast and cost-effective route. Any route, however, should be approved by ATC before each flight. Airbus has two wind shear protection systems. First one is predictive system which only works when there is a moisture in the air and covers a range of 5 nautical miles. It will give either a warning for a go-around and wind shear avoidance in navigational display or advisory when pilot needs only to monitor navigational display and make a correct actions. Second one is predictive system which reacts uh, to loss of aircraft performance and gives a warning. A necessary actions must be done by the pilot. For example, set uh, toga thrust and follow SRS instructions, or even if necessary, pull the stick fully back. Pilot can control a nose wheel with a steering wheel for uh, sharp turns on a slower speeds. Another way to control the nose wheel is by rudder pedals but rudder pedals are using only for small corrections uh, due to their uh, have a totally small effect on the nose wheel. In Airbus A320, uh, steering wheels are located on the both sides of the cockpit, while in uh, Boeing 737 it is only on the captain side. Hopefully we have answered some questions that you were curious about. We are planning to make another video like this, so if you are interested in something, uh, feel free to ask about it in YouTube comments. That's it for now. Have a great day.